Libra, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. Now, beautiful soul, know this. Spirit is guiding you towards many opportunities. You may be experiencing these new opportunities right now. It's like almost like you're in a new time, right? This wheel of fortune, right? The, ener the wheel of fortune is like the energy. Uh, the time keeps spinning and the wheel keeps going no matter what, right? So the wheel of fortune is always going and you're always being met with abundance if that's what you're choosing to focus on is that feeling of abundance and joy, right? And this is here for you. But we feel like this new time is being met with some limiting beliefs. You may be even feeling uh, bound or, um, you know, constricted of some kind, right? Of, of, you know, you really want this, but, but it's not feeling good. You know, why isn't it feeling good? If this is what I want, I'm right here. I can feel it's right here, right? And it kind of is back and forth. And we want you to understand that it's probably because there's a disconnection of listening and tuning into your own energy. And instead, again, you're up here thinking about it. How do I fix this? Why is this here? Why is this like this, right? So your affirmation is, I am only trapped by my illusion. I'm only trapped by my illusion. So one thing that's coming up, which is absolutely incredible, is an energy around animals. And this doesn't have to be your pet or your, excuse me, your pet, yeah, your dog or your cat, but really like the animal spirit, right? Really activating like what animal represents, what animal represents you right now? Like if you could just feel out in your heart, like when you, when you just feel out, what animal are you feeling right now? That represents how your energy, right? So then you can go and, you know, research about that particular animal spirit, right? For instance, I start, I'm starting to feel more like, like whenever I feel like uh, the Black Panther, which is part of my animal totem, right? Whenever I feel like the Black Panther, I could tell I'm kind of being like a lone, a lone wolf right now. I can tell my, my, my energy is, wants to be more uh, solo. I want to be more, you know, in my own energy, right? Because Black Panthers kind of, you know, walk alone. And uh, I feel like that more often than not in my life is I'd rather just be alone. I'd rather just be in my own energy just because I love my energy. And when I'm around other people's energy or around other energies in general, I, we, 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 we pick up that energy, right? And so sometimes you just want to be in your own energy because you're like, I don't want to pick up any other's energy. I just want to be alone, right? And that it'll, it'll depend on what animal you're connecting with. So you have this animal spirit here, Libra, and you may be neglecting it, right? You may not be cre expressing yourself creatively enough with what it is that you're doing. If you don't love what you're doing, um, it means that you're spreading yourself too thin other places, right? You have to, every, 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 segment you show up for, let's say, right? Every new scene in your life, right? New scene, right? You go into the kitchen, new scene, right? You go to your work, new scene, right? You go driving, new scene. Every scene you show up for, you have to be in the energetic state of abundance and joy in order to be always in the receival mode. So if you're not in, in your new scenes of life feeling energetically joyful and expansive and abundant, something's up. Something's up. You got to fix that. You got to figure that out. Well, you don't got to figure anything out. You actually have to start tuning back into your spirit and realizing, what is it that I'm not doing for myself? How is it that I'm not expressing myself creatively? You see? So we want you to, um, with this three of pentacles here, it's sort of like when it, whenever you're building, whenever you're learning new skills and whenever you are, uh, you know, trying new things and recognizing what you're being called, try to keep the things in your life that have worked, um, the same, like try to remember back to your previous chapters and what, how are you kind of living life because you're always in a process of being trained, getting ready. Like when my husband and I were traveling, what we would do is we would wake up and we would film right away. And when I came back here um, to where I'm from in the mountains, um, I, we, we, we stopped that and we started waking up and we started trading, we started doing other things. And now, and we realized that was like a lot of uh, energy that was being given because we were doing all these different things throughout the day. And it just felt like way too much energy. So we weren't feeling like we could express ourselves creatively uh, in anything we were doing because we were just doing, trying to do too much. And at first it's a good way to get your feet off the ground. And, and you know, once we kind of got our feet off the ground, with, uh, you know, with, with learning new things and whatever, then you kind of want to go back to a system that worked previously and then integrate the new stuff, if you will. So whatever it takes your energetic, uh, whatever takes your energy up the most, it's like you kind of almost want to do that first, right? 
and then that way, or, or at least stick to the system works. Feel, feel out what works best for you. But at the end of the day, just trust that you got to energetically go with the flow and it's got to feel throughout the day. Everything that you do, every new scene has to be you. So you want to show up and be you. But if you're showing up tired, fatigued, just not yourself, it means that it, it, it wasn't quite aligned energetically. There has to be something you have to kind of recognize. Um, and in order to understand what that is, you're going to have to clear out the clutter. You're going to have to clear out the noise. And that means you might have to take like a break, you know, a break from whatever it is that you are doing. But in order for you to truly be the, you know, the, the emperor of your life and really take the control and take the command of your life, it's very important that you, you begin and understand to learn that energy is what guides us. So six of pentacles, if something doesn't feel stable, if something doesn't feel good to you, good for you, it doesn't reciprocate your energy. You don't feel happy to be there. You don't feel like you're expressing yourself creatively, right? You just show up to work just like, eh. It's because um, there's, there's, you're not doing it the way you want to. It might not be, you know, say you work at like a, a grocery store, right? Let's say you work at a grocery store, right? Well, there's only so much you can really do to creatively express yourself in a grocery store because there's sort of like skills you do, right? But here's the thing is that if you're expressing yourself creatively in other areas of life, you're doing soul inspired activities and you're really enjoying the life that you live, then you're going to bring that joy and that creative expression to your grocery store job and you're going to spread that joy. You're going to spread that love. And it's through the spreading of joy and love and abundance that we receive. We get what we give, but it, you're not giving joy, love and creative expression if you're not doing that for yourself in the other areas of your life. And that's absolutely everything that you do. Everything that you do must be yours. This is your life to create, but we get so caught up in these conditions and these familiar programs, doing things the same way day in and day out. But is that really how you're really tuning into your animal spirit? Is that really how you're tuning into your soul, right? Is by doing the same things that you're used to doing? Probably not. So just understand that, right? Because again, you are only trapped by your illusion. This is your affirmation. I'm only trapped by my illusion, right? So you're going to feel the call of it for adventure, right? It's time for adventure. It's time for new. It's time for new, exciting things. It's time to do things a little bit differently, Libra. It's time to do things the way that feel good for you, not the way that it has worked in the past, trying to force things in the past. None of that. It's time to do things the way that works for you so that you can have that beautiful transformation so that you can reconnect back to your animal spirit, fearless, courageous, motivated, inspired, right? That's what it's about right now. But you got to go through the process of realizing that adventure is here is necessary. Trying new things is necessary. And you know what? You got to have fun. You got to have fun. And the angels say it best play. <coughs> Bless me. You got to play. You got to have fun, right? So you got to set aside work, right? When you think of like, I got to go to work, it's draining, right? We don't want to go to work. We want to share joy, right? That's what we really want to do. We're not, when we're not, um, when we don't have the energy to share joy, it's because we're, we're overdoing it somewhere else. So you got to be mindful about where that is. You might want to give yourself permission to let go of some of the things that you're telling yourself you have to do. Like on this channel, I, uh, we speak very, um, uh, passionately about exercise because it clears our energy. Quite recently, I had to, because I welcomed in the new creative adventure of um, creating fun recipes in the kitchen, uh, I realized that forcing myself to exercise in the morning before my reads was daunting. It made it feel like a very long morning. I didn't even want to get up. So I was feeling energetically drained before I even started my day. So I realized, I'm like, you know what? I don't know. I wasn't feeling excited to exercise. When you don't feel excited about something, that's when you know you got to let it go. So I gave myself the permission to surrender the exercise. I'm like, you know what? It's not that I'm never not going to exercise. Let's be, get real, right? But I realized that right now my, my focus has to, my energy has to go towards the kitchen, my creative expression in the kitchen because that's what I'm really being called right now. So I have to honor that, right? And I have to surrender something and it won't be the reads. It will be the, uh, it'll be the exercise. And then once I kind of have my bearings in this new project that I'm doing and I'm, I'm again playing, right? For me, being in the kitchen is fun. So I love that. I love being here in the reads. It's fun. It's, I'm connecting with spirit, connecting with all of you. It's, it's beautiful, right? I'm learning my skills, connecting to my own energy. It's super fun. The exercise wasn't feeling fun. It means I was missing something. It wasn't fitting quite right. So I gave myself permission to surrender that and release that. And then I was able to have more energy towards the reads and more energy in the kitchen, which is what I really 
feel passionate about, right? So I started there. That's my foundation. Everything in my life right now is super fun because I'm just doing things that I'm creatively excited about. And then I realized, okay, well, exercise has to be a part of my life. Might as well do get exercise in when the when the timing feels right. I'll probably put it in right before I eat my one meal a day, right? Exercise right before I eat. That would make sense for me, logically. But let's energetically feel it out. Maybe there's a better time. I don't know. Spirit's guiding me. You see how that goes, right? So just focus on the things that you love doing that leave you feeling expressively like you because that's going to pump you up. And then you're going to be able to figure out uh, just energetically and with exper life's experience where everything else fits into your life. Universe message says, earlier disappointments were just rehearsal for the great stuff coming your way. Never regret love, no matter how blind, it improved your vision. No matter how foolish, it made you wiser. And no matter how generous, it made you more. Hubba hubba, the universe, right? So no matter, no, never regret love, no matter how blind, it improved your vision. No matter how foolish, it made you wiser. And no matter how generous, it made you more, right? And again, it's so true. The disappointments were just letting us know letting us know that there, there's amazing things ahead of us. And so we simply just have to recognize that, oh, I'm kind of feeling dense and low. Oh, really good things are about to happen. Okay, let me just get my bearings together and let's let go of the energy that isn't feeling exciting right now. I don't feel like I'm, I wanna put my stamp of authenticity on it. So you know what, I'm gonna give myself permission to let that go. Cause I can tell if I clear that up, you know, I'll be able to have more energy for other things. So. Clear that up, focus on the things that you feel like you want to show up for, you want to show up for it, and, and it'll flow, it'll flow, it'll flow, but just trust, everything is energy, right? If we're tying up our energy into things we're not feeling excited about, well, you're tying up your energy, right? And so you want to let that go because it'll only cause resistance. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there are messages in here for you, and if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you, I love you, and until our next reading, keep shining, baby.